welcome back. This is uh, PhotoLink's uh, fifth tutorial on uh, Paint.net. Um, what we're going to do now is talk about a very important subject, and that is the subject of the uh, uh, curves. Uh, basically, what a curve is, a relationship. I, I just brought up the curves dialog by clicking on adjustments in curves. It's a relationship between basically the input uh, side of the curve, which is here, and the output side of the curve here. And you change the relationship between the two by adjusting this line. So if you take, for example, let's say this goes 0 to 255, but let's say this is 100. This is uh, the, the, uh, the tonal range of the tonal point of 100 in um, your 0 to 255, this being the darkest and this being the lightest. So this is basically a darker midtone, which would, let's say, we're going to call it for, uh, for point being 100. If you notice where this curve intersects, and you take it over here, it's going to be 100 on the output side. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this, and by clicking on the curve, we can develop an anchor point that we can move. Now what we've basically done is we've taken that 100, which is here, and we've moved it up to like 125, which basically what we've done is we've lightened our shadows. Uh, similarly, we could take that, which is 100, and on the output side, like let's say uh, take it to um, 80, which darkens uh, the, uh, uh, you know, that particular area of the image. Okay, what you can do is you can put control points all over the place on this. Like, let's on this line. So every place you click, you put a control point. And then if you drag them, you can drag your control points. Or by right clicking, you can take off control point. So like, let's say here is this, this half represents the lighter half of the image. Like, let's say I choose to lighten the lighter half of the image. I can do it by just adjusting that portion of the curve. Similarly, what I can do is I can lighten the lighter point and I can darken the darker points. And what you will find is the more of a slope that this line has, more towards vertical, the greater your contrast will be. The less slope that it has towards vertical, the less your contrast is going to be. So I hope that was clear. That's on the luminosity side. I'm going to reset this. What we can also do is go into RGB mode where we can deal with the colors individually. Like here I have this image, and like let's say that I want to make it a slight bit warmer. I can either deal with all the colors by leaving all these checked, or I can deal with, like, let's say, just the red by unchecking the green and blue. So I'm just dealing with the red channel, and I can just increase it slightly, which, is, as you'll note, gives a slight red or warmish cast to the image. I can reset that, and like, let's say that I would like to go with a bluish cast. So what I can do is I can turn these off and I can give it, I can increase the blue slightly and which gives it a slight bluish cast or a colder cast. Uh, similarly, um, what I can do is I can affect the overall saturation by reducing all of these colors. And what it does is it reduces, oh, excuse me, uh, I'm going to reset this. If I click all three and reduce it, I'm reducing the overall saturation of the image. Uh, or I can increase the saturation of the image. Or actually, the brightness of the colors and the saturation. <coughs> so that is a very brief introduction to curves. It's an extremely powerful tool where brightness and contrast affect the entire image as a whole. Um, and uh, the histogram, when you're dealing with the center portion of the histogram, you're only dealing with the midtones as a whole. 
uh, with curves, you can deal with any portion of the image by either the luminosity and clicking on the proportion on the portion that affects the highlights or the shadows, or you can go into the RGB mode and um, click on red, green, or blue, or you know deal with a pair of the channels or each individual channel to adjust the um, you know any color casts or anything that you're dealing with. Very powerful tool. Thank you for watching and um, please uh, go to um, um, www.fotolink.com and uh, for more videos and uh, these are really coming online quickly. So I want to go through this product thoroughly. But thank you for watching. Um, good night.